Today is day two of Janice Hedroff's visit to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and it's the day she got some of the news she was hoping for. Janice and her family flew to the Mayo Clinic for a second opinion on risky surgery that would remove tumors from her spine but could potentially leave her paralyzed. Today, the Mayo doctors told Janice what she wanted to hear. She does not need that surgery on her back, but as CTV's Erin Glazier shows us, she may need another operation that could carry the same risk. Can you tell me at this point what is your main problem with neurofibromatosis? Um, <coughs> Starting well, from scratch, means, this is day two of Janice Edroff's journey to find a second opinion, and it starts with good news. I won't need back surgery, which is a great relief. After meeting with the neurosurgeon, it was off to see Dr. Bobovic, professor of medical genetics and pediatrics. She specializes in Edroff's condition, neurofibromatosis, but says the excruciating leg pain Janice has been experiencing could be a more complicated issue. I'm sick of waiting and my leg, the, mm -hmm. the tumor's growing and it's causing pain and my leg's giving out. and. Mm -hmm. She's got a tumor in her abdomen that is about 8 to 10 inches long. It, it's pretty big, and it's wrapped up on the femoral nerve, and um, they don't know if they can surgically fix that without really damaging her leg. So more tests will be needed. Tomorrow, Janice is scheduled to meet with a neurologist for a nerve conduction study. So far, the Edroffs have been extremely pleased with their visit and say the level of care is phenomenal. It's an amazing place. Like I'm very happy at what they are doing right now. They're doing a great job and they move fast on these this type of thing. So I'm quite impressed. Yeah. <laughs> But uncertainty remains, and depending on the final recommendations from the Mayo Clinic, Janice will have to make a decision, surgery or no surgery, return to BC for treatment, or pay privately in Rochester. We want to find out the information first and then decide. The search for answers resumes tomorrow, and the family hopes to be more confident in her treatment direction before returning home on Friday. Erin Glazier, CTV News.